Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to download uh, pretty much almost anything that your little heart desires for free. Whether it be software, games, movies, um, or whatever either type of media file that you want to use on your computer. Um, the first thing you're going to need um, is first thing you're going to need is a is a computer that runs Ubuntu. Now I have my netbook here. Um, it is an EPC. Uh, I upgraded the RAM on it to two gigs, um, and I also installed Ubuntu on it. So I'll turn it on. And we could see what we got. I really should update the hard drive on this to an SSD drive so it goes a little faster. But since I just use it for downloading, it's pretty much my download machine. It runs almost all the time downloading information. Normally I download movies. All right. So we'll go over here. Show you the system settings. So yeah. Ubuntu 12.04 we got 2 gigs of RAM running a dual core Atom proce Intel processor um, this is a 32 bit version um, so we'll close that now once you got your Ubuntu going what you want to do is you'll want to download Vuz now Windows has a version of Vuz on for Windows um, but if you get the free version it gives you a very limited access to what it is that you can download um, if you get the Ubuntu version you can pretty much have access to whatever it is that is on Vuz's download network now so say you want to find a movie um, you'll just go into its search bar and type in whatever movie you're looking for. Uh, we'll put World War Z. World War Z. I spelled world wrong. Put whirl. Anyway, it'll still show up. Um, if you could see, um, it'll give you a it'll give you a DVD version, a 1080p version. It'll give you a, a cam version, which is probably somebody with a cam in a movie theater. Um, it'll give you an unrated cut version. Um, but you, what you want to do is you want to look at the size of the file. Um, generally, I go between one and two gigs for my files um, because that'll give you um, it'll give you the best quality um, as far as I mean. You could find Blu-ray versions on here. That's like this one here is a Blu-ray version, and that file is 4.43 gigs but I just don't see I don't see why you should use that much space for a blu-ray version when you could watch a 720p version 
that uses one third of the space or half of that space but um but anyways you just click on the download um it'll give you a little warning um click on yes continue download and then it'll begin its download All right, now if you click on over here where it says download, it'll show you the process. So it'll say downloading, it'll take blah, 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 time. Now once it's complete, it'll stick it in a folder. Now I've already downloaded some stuff. I've downloaded three games. Um, if you could see here, there's uh, Rig and Roll, Need for Speed, and Burnout Paradise. Now if you download software, sometimes you'll need to extract the software because this netbook does not have a optical drive or a um, CD drive for you to burn anything onto. I guess you could get an external um, if you choose. But if you could see here, here's where my files are downloading. Here's World War Z. Rig and roll, need for speed, and burnout paradise. Once it's complete, it'll put it in this folder. Now, on need for speed, I had to actually extract it because the file is going to look like this. It'll be a little disk. Um, if you click on it, it'll ask you what you want to what you want to burn it to. Um, since there's no burning software or there's no burning uh, hardware on here, I can't do that. So what you want to do is you'll want to uh, right click on it and you'll want to extract it. And then it'll extract it to a folder like this. I've already done that. Once you open that folder, then it'll give you the setup and all of the other information you'll need in order to, in order to set it up on your computer. So I've already done that. Um, once, you've, once you have done that, then you just transfer it to an SD card. So here I have a 16 gig SD card. I'll just stick it into the side of my my netbook here. It'll open it and as you can see I've already copied and pasted them onto this onto this card. Now once you copy and paste them then you just take out your card stick it into your computer card reader maybe go to your desktop uh, on your windows computer open it and then just copy and paste these to your desktop you can see this is a 13 gig file so it's going to take a few minutes and then once you do that all you do is run it as you can see, I um, have a hard drive specifically dedicated for games. If you look at that particular hard drive, here is here are some of the games that I've already downloaded. And um, let's see if I could probably open one, maybe. How about I don't know which one. Some of these I haven't played yet. Oh, the sun's coming through that window really hard. I'm gonna close that window. out of my computer. So there's one game. So 
So we'll try to exit out of this. Maybe. So we'll quit that. Um, if you also take a look here, I got XBMC on my computer. So we could run that. I have an app on my phone that I could actually control this from. So if you look at my movie files, And if you could see, uh, let's see. We'll fast forward. You can see this one's in 1080. You see some of the codecs and parameters. And that's all of them. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that. And have a great day.